So this is a fish that has a set of lungs and gills. It, it, they, they've been around since before the dinosaurs. So in Africa, where he's from, if his pond were to dry up, he can walk to another body of water with his little legs there. Um, or they dig a hole and they make a, like a mud cocoon and they wait for the rain to come again. These guys have the potential to get up to four feet long, so he's got some growing left to do. Um, but I gotta keep him by himself because he's actually very like aggressive towards other fish. I know he looks kind of derpy, but in the water they're a pretty solid predator. It almost looks a little eel-like. Yeah, but these are, they kind of think this is almost like a transition between fish and amphibian, if that makes sense, because they have lungs and gills. So he can breathe air just like we can. Very he's hard to cool. hold on to, but yeah, he's, He's one of my favorites. Just kind of like because of what that animal is. It's just like a, it's literally a dinosaur, you know. People that know what it is kind of like appreciate it because they know like it's a dinosaur, which I think is cool. Who doesn't like dinosaurs? I like dinosaurs. Oh, yeah, everyone likes dinosaurs. So what's the name of this guy? Binya Binya. So any of you uh, 90s babies out there that remember Gullah Gullah Island, oh, oh. that's what it's named after. I love watching uh, I, I, I don't remember yeah. that, bro. I, I don't, you don't remember Binya Binya? I, I don't, man. Uh, it was a Nickelodeon show. It came okay. on during the day. Uh, uh, so that's it, because we're too poor to have cable. Oh, gotcha. Hey, guys, Mike, yeah. he's got some money. You know, it doesn't Fit. work out with his current girl. I'm just saying. I have no money. <laughs> you, know why uh, have, you know why he doesn't have any money? You know why he doesn't have any money? Because he spends it on all this stuff, yeah. guys. That's why. He's got, a, he's got a really, really expensive... Get your kids into reptiles and bugs, and they won't have money to buy drugs. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. All right, get that guy put away. Um... We can see if uh, there's another cool frog. This is called a fantasy frog, and it's a hybrid of two um, two different frogs. It's a uh, Pac-Man and a I want to say it's a Surinam horn frog. I always I always forget what the the mix is, but it was so pretty that we used it on our business card. So let's see if he takes. Oh, there he goes. Yep. I don't know if we gave that one a name, actually. Just kind of... Sometimes we have some animals that just don't end up getting a name until, like, one day some kid's like, name it this. They play dead so that, you know, a potential predator gets bored of them. So right now they're just going to sit here until they think it's, like, safe, and then they'll flip over and start walking around again. Um, but, I mean, yeah, they're, they... They look like a dead bug. But they're not. But yeah, no, totally alive. You can see them twitching here and there. Um, I've had a couple of them that sat for a solid five minutes before. Hopefully this guy will flip back over so you guys now, believe me. Now, on some predators, aren't they just going to eat the dead bug? They might. Or it's just like... I mean, I guess there's a movement thing too, right? Because a, a lot of predators will actually determine that there's something there to eat based upon it yeah. moving, right? Yeah. And if you're not moving, I mean... Yeah. yeah, it's it's gonna get bored. It's gonna be like ah, you know, I'm not gonna mess with this. Um, but it does not look like uh, these guys are. <laughs> they're, yeah. they're good at playing dead guys. They, they, they definitely are alive. Um, but uh, when they are caught, I will set them right here on this piece of zucchini. And if we come back later and look at them, you'll see that they're probably be yes, moving they'll around. be moved. I've got a lot. I keep a lot of leaf litter in here because they like to hide under some yeah. of this stuff making them um, feel more comfortable yeah because i know i got a couple in here like there's this this is a pretty neat bug here this is a uh type of darkling beetle and these guys are pretty unique here i'll pull them out we get a better look these guys are adapted to live in the desert if you look at how smooth this shell is oh yeah um they also uh they don't have the wing like the split in their shell for the wings so you can't fly or anything and that's designed so that in the morning it can collect the dew that would form on his abdomen so like basically little droplets of water might form. It puts its butt in the air, and then the water will kind of dri uh, drip down to its mouth. Cool. Yeah, pretty neat bug. It's cool how animals adapt to where they live, you know?